How to install a mesh Wi-Fi network at home. Make sure the two mesh devices are purchased from formal channels and support the mesh function. Otherwise, the mesh network may not be successfully established. Step 1. Install the device 1. Open the box of the device. Plug one end of the power adapter into the device's power port, and the other end into a power outlet. Take out the network cable. Insert one end of the cable into the network port on the wall or a LAN port of the modem, and plug the other end into the WAN port of the mesh device. Wait for about two minutes. If the device can access the internet properly, the LED is solid green, the installation is successful. Please go to the App Store or Google Play Store to download the ZLife app. Step 2. Add the router. Open the ZLife app and tap Add Device. Then tap Router. Choose Wi-Fi AP. Make sure the first device has been connected to the broadband. Tap Next. Scan the QR code found at the bottom of the router. If no QR code is present, tap Go to Settings directly. Note, if the operating system of your mobile phone is Android, you must connect to Wi-Fi manually after scanning the QR code. If you do not want to enter the password manually, tap Copy Password. This operation arises from Android rather than ZLife, due to Android security requirements. Then wait. Enter the router's web login username and password as prompted on the page. After the router is added successfully, you can see the device in the page. Click on the product to enter the management page. Tap Mesh Network. Tap the plus icon on the upper right corner and select Add Device on the page. Power on the new device that needs to be deployed. Press the WPS button on the new device and then tap Next. Follow the on-screen instructions and wait about 2 minutes. When the pairing succeeds, the LED on the new device will turn blue. You can see that the second mesh device has been successfully networked on the page of the app. Now, you can use the app to control your home mesh Wi-Fi network. If the LED on the new device turns red flashing, it means the mesh networking has failed. In this case, please check whether you have strictly followed the above steps, and repeat them if necessary. If the LED on the new device turns blue flashing, it indicates that the Wi-Fi signals are not good. You need to adjust the position of the new device until the LED turns solid blue. Usually, you can place the new device between the first device and the blind spot in your home. For a multi-floor house, it is strongly recommended to use wired networking for devices on different floors. Here are some tips for optimizing mesh networking to achieve faster Wi-Fi speed and better network quality. It is recommended to use no more than four mesh devices for networking. Wireless mesh networking supports no more than two hops. Do not place the mesh device too high or too low. Try to ensure that the mesh devices are at a similar height to the devices you use every day, such as mobile phones and tablets. For optimal performance, use wired networking between mesh devices on different floors. Now that you have a great mesh network, start surfing the internet.